grace and peace, brothers and sisters. As I think about how God spoke through my dad, one of the first memories that comes to mind was going to church every Sunday. And every Sunday, my father would usually be the last one to sit down in the pew. My brother and I had already entered and kind of flopped down in the middle of it, grabbed a pencil and a bulletin and started coloring or flipping through it. And in would walk my father. He would sit down, bow his head, and pray silently for a moment. That became an important model for me growing up on how to prepare for worship. As I got older, I also realized how being grounded in prayer was connected to other traits that I admire in my father. I saw how he conducted himself in his business and in his service to others, how he modeled his good humor and ways of relating to other people. And it reminded me of Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 18. Here Paul is talking about gifts of the Spirit that are given to different people. And then he says, Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Much of what Paul says to do on this list, I have learned from watching my father. And it all started from watching him sit in a pew, bow his head, and begin worship with a prayer. In what ways does or did your father model prayer for you? And even more importantly, in what ways can you model prayer for others? Think about that today. For as Paul says, we are to rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, and persevere in prayer. Thanks, Dad, for modeling all of these things for me. And now, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for your genuine love for each of us. Help us to hold fast to what is good and love one another. Help us to rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, and persevere in prayer. This day and every day, so that we might live peaceably with all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching.